Hello, and I am Tolheim. Thanks for joining me. This shall be my first Let's Play, and the game I'm going to be playing is Darkest Dungeon. I've already played it a bit, and I've been seriously loving this game, like the narration and the atmosphere is just great. The gameplay is a lot of fun. So first, let's start with the intro cinematic. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous, clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. And that's the intro cinematic. Right, let's start a new game. Hmm, it'll be super creative. Call it Tolheim. Let's go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. And off we go. Now I have played this game before, as I said, so the first little bit is a little tutorial bit, but I kind of already know what I'm doing, so... Let's get going. I've got Reynold, the Crusader, and Dismas, the Highwayman. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Okay, so this dude. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. One guy no should be here of your arrival. <laughs> Eradicated. Bad guy down. Let's 
investigate. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Leave nothing unchecked. There now is this much to be found in It's a little places. harder. This guy here, he's big. Ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. I think I'll shoot this guy. Smite him. Hmm. I think I'll try and stun this guy. Oh, he resisted. See, the bottom it shows their resistances. So this guy's pretty resistant to stun. Let's shoot that guy again. Hmm, let's probably go for a stun then. Basic smite. Probably don't finish off the brigand. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And he's resisting the bleeding. But he's dead. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Great success. No, you saw I just ignored that crate there. Um, last time I did it, he was trapped. So it might not be this time, but I thought I wouldn't risk it. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. This is the town. So you need to complete more quests to unlock these. When I've got the graveyard, ancestors' memoirs, and the stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. This is an important one. Yes, yeah, so this is where you get your heroes from. So you can upgrade the number of heroes you have each week to choose from. And the maximum number you can have stored in your roster. So by level, stress, class, and activity. So these guys make your dude start stronger. So we'll can have a look at the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. But I could also check out the ancestors' memoirs. In time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Let's embark on a mission. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So each of your guys specialize in different areas. So this guy's super strong. And he prefers to be in these positions, the front two. Because all his skills. Rely on being in the front two and often hitting the enemy front two. So, this guy prefers being in either of those because he can shoot stuff. This guy prefers being in that one or the back, that one the most. He just prefers being there, but back's pretty useful. Right, let's go. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later. In blood. Take one shovel, eight torches, and twelve food. Let's go. Explore ninety percent of the rooms, which means I can ignore one of them. So let's see what happens. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. 
paid for in blood. Some skeletons. So these guys are immune to bleeding. They're very low health, no dodge, and low speed. So it's probably best if I shoot them both with a grape shot blast. Good mm. decision. Can't do these two because there's no one in the back two rows, only the front two. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We do nothing. Try and stun. In radiance, may we find victory. Back We're all to down. The pit. I think I'll have these the... nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. If the highwayman opened the, the unforgotten strong box. There we go, another shovel. An obstacle and a battle. Use Even the shovel. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So that guy's a bit stronger. He's got high protection and extra speed. This guy's got a lot of speed and a lot of dodge. Good health as well. I think I'm gonna play grenade that one first. Try and stun it. The way is lit. The path is clear. We so require hit both of them. only the strength to follow it. on low health, she's gonna die next turn anyway because of the plague grenade. I'll just try and kill this guy. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Be there wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. So now I've got a scout they got a choice. Room battle of the curiosity or room battle of treasure? I think I'll take the treasure. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Let's go, key. The play grenade worked really well last time, so try that again. Grip shot blast will hit all three. Dazzling like that. I think this time this guy looks like he's a bit deadlier. Let's try and take that guy down with a smite. Plus ten percent stress and extra bleeding. Let's try and stun this guy. Nope. She's dead her next turn anyway. I could probably take out that guy, because that guy doesn't bleed, so. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Shoot the guy with the sword. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Open the strong box. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Very nice. So there should be a trap on the floor here. So 
Each of these guys have a different skill at disarming traps. So the higher man is the best by far with 90. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. That's why it's always good to have plenty of food, because you get hit by hunger like that. And one more room. And I have explored the whole area. I think I'll make my guy eat some food. Old Rain will the Crusader. It's a bit damaged. You can eat food, but eventually they get full and can't heal anymore. There we go. Hopefully I've got plenty of shovels. So here's another room battle. So this guy is a good defender. This guy's good at range, that guy's good at stress. So I think this skill gives him a small buff but does less damage. But since I imagine this battle lasting a bit longer, I'll probably do that one against the guy who causes stress. Play grenade these two. That's a brilliant skill. Smite the guy with the sword. There we go, he's gone. Playground needs to be working so well. I'll just play it again. So these guys are immune to bleed. He's dead next turn. And he's not dead next turn. I'll take eight, but he's got nine health, so I'll probably shoot him. Oh dear. A death by inches. Illumination? Can do some damage. That's annoying. Death waits. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Time to smite the guy with the shield. He's dead next turn anyway. So try and stab the guy with the shield. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Great success. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's all continue adventuring and have a look at this chest. Very nice. In my quest. So he's gained a trait. That's a positive trait. Next look at our scouting chance in the Warrens, that's very good. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. I think that's where I'm going to end the first video. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you next time.